we're at the first spot. It's a roadbed, usually has some grass on it this time of year, we're gonna find out. Deep, clear, pressured lake, let's fill the live well. Before we start, if you guys would be interested in how to do a live well, I made this live well in 10 minutes. Cost me about, the cooler itself was 50, the aerator setup was another 20. So it's a $70 cooler, it'll last you forever, takes you 10 minutes. If you guys want a video on how to set that up, comment below, I need your feedback to give you guys new content. I don't know what you want, so half the time when I put things out, it's just based off what I wanna do. I wanna start doing some things that you wanna see, so let me know, holler at me. We're gonna hook up this power worm. It's like a watermelon candy type color on the slider head, the trusty slider head. We're sitting in 20 feet off of this point. It should be some, some grass going on. Felt some grass right there, so that's good. It's not as heavy as I want it yet, but uh, the slider head is just an insane weapon to catch these fish in sparse grass. Once it starts getting a little heavy, I like to go lighter so that it just stays at the top of the grass and doesn't sink in there. But if you got sparse grass, you can throw like a 3 8 a uh, quarter ounce 3 8 gets down in there just a little bit and then as soon as you rip it out of the grass that's usually when they attack it all right that's taken a little too long to get down to the bottom we are going to switch up we're going with the strike king football head tournament grade football head jig with a net bait pack of craw we're doing a black chartreuse brown and green pumpkin all types of stuff going on here skirt and if you guys notice that if you're real sharp you probably notice i take out the uh the weed guard until i get around wood i'm not really worried about that um, I find that it hinders my hook sets. Got this reel spooled up with 50 pound vicious braid. Didn't have any more of the pissy fun braid or else I'd be braided up with that. I got some on the way. But that's my primary line is pissy fun braid to a P-line CXX leader or Seaguar fluorocarbon. And this time of year they really start keying in on jigs so that's what i switched up to i wanted to get down to the bottom real quick so i can power fish this shoreline the other uh the slider head wasn't cutting it it was taking too long to get down there and i just want to hit it and quit it you know what i'm saying camera wasn't on the other one was though oh whoa, whoa, whoa. oh my goodness they fight come here yeah that's a nice start boys that's a nice start right there On the jig, baby. Strike King for the win. <laughs> Last time I did this exact same thing. Got really hot, took my shirt off. This is what happened. Okay, so we are having a really tough day right now. So I'm gonna do something I've always wanted to do. I'm gonna give you guys an underwater view of some of this structure that we should be catching fish off of right now, but instead I'm gonna go scare them away and swim. Not gonna do that today. We're just gonna fish. But it was a lot of fun, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, that's a big fish. Oh. Oh. 
least you guys got to see the hook set there. I threw it out in 30 feet on these trees and uh, the line just stopped immediately. So I knew right away it was either a branch or it was a big fish. Felt the line, felt that weight, boom, set the hook. He came up, he did one, he did one turn with his nose, one dive, then my leader broke. 20 pound fluorocarbon. That was a not error, it's not the line. I have full confidence in both of those lines. That was a six plus, easy, easy. That fish was huge. But anyway, standing timber, right? You always wanna watch your line, it's extremely important. The only way I knew that there was a fish on the end of my line was watching it. I would not have seen that fish for anything. So watch your line, if it stops prematurely, then you know you've got either, it's hitting some structure or you've got a fish. That's how you fish for them in the trees, boys. Just watching my line. Oh man, he got it deep. I can't see where this hook is. I don't know if I can be able to keep him. He's bleeding real bad. Oh, f this fish is dead. Oh my God. He got hooked way, 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 way deep. I don't think he's gonna make it. Man, this day has gone from awesome to struggling. We're gonna get back on fish. Got to keep your mind right, stay in the game, stay focused. Easier said than done, especially when you lose a six and have a fish die on you. Seven o'clock. I've had no bites for three hours. Throwing everything in the book at them. We're gonna move, fish some points, some more grass. Try for all these little schooling fish. I guess that was the ticket. Little three inch, little three inch yum dinger. And this is what did it, three inch yum dinger. Crazy small. I don't know if he's any better or not. He's definitely fighting better. Jesus, come up here. Come on back. Jeez. Maybe I should have been doing this all day with these schooling fish. I saw them all day. I just didn't think they were big enough to mess with. All right, we'll put away the little slider head, pull out the big slider head. See if we can do some damage. Got the hops. Not a very big fish. I don't know. I don't know what the deal is with these fish. I don't know what the deal is with them today. They're fighting like monsters. Get in there. Jeez, feisty guy. Let's 
just gotta give it the time and the persistence and you shall receive ladies and gentlemen i was about to give up there a couple times but i'm a warrior we don't do that This is just shit. Hey, you suck, David. Oh. Oh. oh, that was five. That was a good fish. Yes, that's five. That's five. That's five. Oh, that's five. Get in here. Oh my God, we got five. All right, we did it. <laughs> it might not be a big limit, but it's a limit. And let me tell you, I did not know that we'd get it. Oh my God, thank you. Bye-bye.